Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone, Mr. Tolvin here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to farm Black Pearls. This is an updated version of our previous video on how to farm Black Pearls. Um, since Ragnar was introduced, there is now an easier and very easy method of farming Black Pearls. So for this you're going to need two things. One, you're going to need, you're going to need some levels, obviously. You're going to need a, uh, and you're going to need a scuba tank. So for this, I'm going to use a scuba tank, a scuba mask. So let me go to the steps. There's two current two locations that I'm aware of where you can actually obtain black pearls very easily without having to go through too much trouble. So the first one is here located at 12.2 in 88. And this is one of the pirate ships. It's not, this is actually not a well-known location. Everyone knows of the location at pirate, uh, the Viking Bay. And this one is actually very far west, close to Red Obelisk. So as you can see, there is a large number of drip trips that you can farm. And this is very far away from most people live or like where most people tend to go. So this is a great place to farm Black Pearls. Now, obviously, I prefer using the squid because with the squid I can get a lot more Black Pearls per drip trip. But let's go with the assumption that you want to tame a squid so you don't have any you don't have a squid you don't have that many stuff to go farm them so i'm going to show you a quick way of, far, of getting black pearls early game if you don't have a squid so you're going to need a you're going to need a metal spike and you just place the metal spike right here without them hitting me i'm going to place them right here there you go i'm going to lure them to the spikes and now the squids will start attacking the metal spikes. So I'm gonna pick, place a second one now. There you go. So you can do this without any dinos, and they will eventually die to the metal spikes without you you doing any work. So this is this is a way of doing it without any dinos. You don't you don't need to. I just want to show it to people that hey. And Dolphin, I don't have a squid, I don't have anything to farm black pearls, but I still want to get black pearls so I can get a squid first. So this is one way of doing it. It's super easy. And you can farm a ridiculous amount of black pearls, and then you can go get your squid later on. Uh, we're probably going to do a video later on on where to find squids uh, in this map. And so on and so on. And if anything, you could also bring a crossbow to farm them. As well. But yeah, it's not too complicated. You can use you can use this, you can use crossbow and whatever you like. All right, so now we're gonna go farm these with the with the squid. And the good thing about Ragnarok is that there is so many of these guys in here. There's a little bit too many actually. I kind of like that because that allows me to constantly farm pearls. Now, obviously, not all the time they're going to give you black pearls in return, but this is, you know, far away from everything. And it's not that difficult. There we go. Let's see. I'm gonna clear all the eruptors in this in this area, and the cool thing is that they constantly spawn. So after you clear this area and you got a render distance, uh, when you come back, like 20 or 30 of them will spawn. Anyway, I'm on official server settings, so I'm getting the amount that you will get on an official server. Let's see, let me clear these. Make sure you always bring a scuba tank, or maybe an ex two extra, an extra, I'll, I'll, I'd like to bring two scuba tanks, this time unfortunately couldn't bring any, besides the one that I have, but it should be okay. Let me clear these here. And now I have a ridiculous amount of meat. Um, I have 41 black pearls with that one run and that one run alone. 
and as you can see this is the easy, one of the easiest way of farming black pearls you can use it use the metal spikes plus a crossbow or you can come here I thought there would be a treasure chest in here as well but after checking multiple times there is no treasure chest located in this area so that's unfortunate all right so this is one of the spots don't forget it is 12 1 11.2 and 89.3 can't miss it is pretty much away from everyone out here let me see how close i am to red obelisk very close very close to red obelisk between the redwoods and the highlands so to speak and i would say this would be this probably is the safest and easiest way to get black bros now we're going to show you the second area which is located at the biking bay and that also is a place where you can get black all right now for the second spot as many probably as many of you know who are watching this video the second spot is obviously located at the biking bay which is located at 21 and 32 can't really miss it it's usually um a silosaurus spawn here as well and whoa Yeah, I know this is also a guaranteed Basilosaurus spawn here, so you can come here for your Basilosaurus. But yeah, as you can see, there's another bi uh, biking ship in there, which is a 22 and 33. This is the most common spot that people use to farm black pearls. I personally don't like coming here because a lot of people come here to farm black pearls. So usually I would have to fight someone here and there. As you can see, we're going to do another run. This also might be done, so I have to... Yeah, with this as well. And there we go. That's a ridiculous number of Dripterids. So Mantis for days. Let's clear these. Honestly, I if I were to recommend you to bring any dino to farm black pearls would probably be the squid. Mostly because they have a large AoE and and you can farm I, I feel like I can farm dinos drifters a lot quicker with a squid than a Mosia or Basilosaurus or a Plesio or any other one of the dino out there. And as you can see, if you watched the earlier part of the video, it's super easy and safe to get black pearls out here in Ragnarok. Alright, so I clear this area in a few minutes, and let me see, how many black pearls did I get for, from this particular run? 25 black pearls, just for killing a few Jureptors over there. So I feel like the second, the first area that I show you gives you a lot more black pearls. So it really depends on the server pop and, you know, how much effort you're willing to put. Alright, simple as that. Uh, I hope everyone finds this video useful. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.